Dom Link, here is your boy Link. Welcome to this video, welcome to another show. If that's doing well on the 8th of October 2024, we are doing a review of the season 4, episode 1 and 2 of Dexter because we freaking love that show. And episode 1 and 2 of the season 4 is kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. So, the whole, the whole purpose of Dexter was to become more human. He's a serial killer. We love that he's a serial killer. But the purpose of the show is for him to become more and more human. Why? Because we all have that dream of making a bad person a good person. That's why girls date bad guys because we want to fix them. That's why guys date broken women because we want to fix them. It's human nature. So in season four, we have exactly that. Now, why that human nature? Well, what more, what's more human than having it your own kid? So we're seeing Papa, Papa Dexter. Papa Dexter is going to be his new name. It's not PDD, it's Papa Dexter. Um, so... Papa Dexter is now struggling with reality because he has three jobs. Miami, best freaking blood splatter expert, being a serial killer, and being a Papa Dexter. So, like normal people that have three jobs, Dexter isn't able to do anything correctly. He's been an absolute father, he's missing court. And that is the beauty. That is the beauty of episode number one. Again, I have to repeat myself. You got three job. We're seeing the three job. When it comes to court, he doesn't have the right document. When it comes to court, he makes mistake because he's tired. When it comes to killing, he's able to kill. He's able to hide the body, but forgets where he hide it. When it comes to being a father, we like complain that he's not. Abs he's absent father. By the way, with Rita, I'm gonna I'm gonna get something off my chest that I've been feeling for a while. I do not like the character of Rita. I don't like her at all. I don't like her. I, I I'm not gonna say I hate her, but I dislike her. You spend the first season showing us a kind woman. You spend the first season showing us how much you care about Dexter. You spend the first season trying to make compromises with Dexter. And then you put a second season, you put her with back with her ex-husband, who was a drug user, who was very abusive, who was very uh, violent. And we see a different Rita. We're seeing a Rita that is able to fight for herself. We're seeing a Rita that says, you know what, Paul, fuck you, I'm not going to take your shit. You know what, Dexter? You're a shitty boyfriend. There you go. You know what, Dexter? You cheated on me. Fuck you. With lead life, if you guys remember. She had great tits. Rila. Maybe maybe Rila, I don't know. We haven't seen Rila. Um Men with Tits. What can I say? Should make a whole playlist about that. Um so with Rila right now what we're seeing is it's always complaining. It's always oh you're absent and oh you're not there. And I understand. And the third season I felt bad for Rila because in the third season she's playing in the wedding to herself. She's pregnant. And the third wedding she, in the third season she's asking herself, Does Dexter love me? And the fourth season, oh well, Dexter, you're not a, you're not a, uh, you're not a good father. And my issue here is not the fact that she's complaining. She has a right to complain, and she has reason to complain. More importantly, my problem with Rita is you're trying to build this powerful woman. You're trying to. You went from a sweet person who was getting constantly abused and used by other people. How many times have we saw her? Asking, hey, do this. She, yeah, okay. And then we say, Rita not being able to say no when she wanted to say no clearly. You were the character that finally able to say no just to let her endure Dexter. And you know what? I'll be completely honest. I know that your father, and I love Dexter. I love the character of Dexter. And if he's so shitty, break up. You did it in season two, and it was one of the most interesting thing because it was Dexter understanding how much he cares about Aster, Cody. Rita. Now we have little baby Arison. See, uh, season four, episode one, serve as three things. Three things. Three things that are worth mentioning. Angel and Lagarta are um, are a couple right now, and you guys have, you guys kind of know that I don't like Lagarta, and I'll, I'm gonna seem like a complainer, but I I like less and less Angel. Angel to me was one of the best character. There's a lot of time where you heard me say, Angel is my favorite character. Here's the reason why. We're just going to recap. We're going to recap on the recap. Angel took care of 
Dexter. Angel referred to himself as the best friend of Dexter, understanding that Dexter might be a little bit awkward, might be a little bit shy when it comes to social interaction, which he is. He's a fucking serial killer, right? In case you didn't know, in case you didn't see the first three seasons. Um, and then we have a we have Angel who's also hiding a secret. Is winning, it's not. Then in the second season, Angel meets a powerful woman, which is, uh, I think it's Gianna. Uh, or Gina, I don't remember. And uh, I know I know she, her nickname was Vagina, so that's one of those two. And um, she's a powerful woman, and she was supposed to represent. I actually really enjoyed Gina. I didn't enjoy Angel and Gina because it was pointless. It, it wasn't pointless, but it was slow and steady, and it led nowhere. Now, why I love, why I love, and I had to say it twice, why I love, um, why I love at the end, Gina and Angel. Angel was stepping away from being a good police officer. Angel was drinking. Angel had prostitutes. Angel was willing to have sex with Leela just to have sex. Knowing she's crazy, he didn't care. And guess what? Gina was his way back. Now he's with Lagetta. And it's kind of cool. I like them two together because they're very similar. Lagetta, she's strict, but she's nice. Angel is very kind, but not enough strict. So the two of them together could be cool, right? However, it does feel a little bit... And when I say a little bit, it feels a lot like... Another writer. It, it feels a lot like... Well, we have those two characters that have been there since day one. We're not gonna kill them off. What can we do with them? Oh, let's put them together. Like, for example, we have a this character called Matsuka. Matsuka is the funny guy. He is the weird guy in the shop, cop, cop show. Every cop show, there's a weird person. Trust me, I know. Uh, I would be one. I would be the one in a cop show for sure. And Matsuka is a weird one. And then Matsuka does these horrible jokes, and he's sexist. And well, not sexist, but he, he makes those uncle joke we call them, uh, those sex jokes that are inappropriate. And then we have this Mas Matsuka. Who is in a sick season two? No, no, no character development whatsoever. In season three, somebody told him this one line is super important. You're doing too much, bro. People don't like you. And now we changed. Just to be season four to be this character. Oh, I don't know why I said. Am I the sex make joke making? Am I the maker of sex joke Matsuka? Or am I the nice guy Matsuka? And I don't know. And why that problem? Why the problem so much? Well, because if you don't know what you are, you cannot expect the viewer to know what you are. That's the thing. So, with that, Deb, she's still with Anton. But Deb, and Deb, you know what? Deb, I had, I had given up on her. She was with the same guy, and then, oh, Anton, which is the CI, Anton, who was then supposed to date her. Anton, who kind of left her alone. And she was really in love, and you feel bad for her until you realize that she puts herself in this situation. But in this one, we have Anton, and we realize that it's not really working out. She's very driven. Um, season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Devi is very ambitious, very driven to success. Um, season 1, she becomes a vice. She wants to prove herself. Season 2, um, she's dating Lundy. And because she is dating Lundy, she wants to be more taken more seriously because she wants to get higher and higher and higher. And she feels the need to prove that she's going higher in the company. Not because she's sleeping with someone. Season 3, trying to get her shield. Trying to get her shield. Right? Season 4, oh, Anton. Stop moving up. Anton is smoking weed. Anton is doing this. Anton is doing that. So you can see... There's pressure on them not being okay, and by magic, by magic, a certain Luddy, if you don't remember from season two, he was a FBI guy, comebacks, and they had a really good relationship. Um, but it's kind of weird because I can't say that. It's kind of weird because that guy was he was very leadership and he was very smart, and now he's more of a position of you know what. I'm just here to chill. I'm here to rekindle the thing with Debra. But you don't know if he's ready to rekindle. And you don't know what he's really here for. So you got this amazing character and you're just like, okay, well, 
What is he supposed to do? What's his purpose? And now you learn why he's there. He's there for the Trinity Killer, which is possibly one of the most, he's not a real criminal, but in the story of, in the universe of Dexter, in the Dexterverse, he's the most successful killer. Right? And uh, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. See, episode number two. Episode number two sucks. And doesn't suck in a way that you expect. It sucks because it's, a rep it's the same thing. It's still Dexter getting fired, looking for a body. And he's looking for a body. He's looking for a body. And he's looking for a body. And then he has to deal with those human relationships. For example, uh, Jill, which is the new guy, um, who is trying to chill with him. I, I like Jill a lot because the reason... The reason he wanted to get close to Dexter is because he got close to everybody else. Him and Dexter, or him and Debra are fine. Him and Miguel, uh, and Miguel, sorry. Him and Angel are fine. Him and Lagarta are fine. Him and Masuka are fine. And he became friends with everybody except for Dexter. So he's just a normal people pleaser. Just like, okay, well, I want to be your friend too, you know? Everybody likes me here, but I don't know about you. Dexter is hard to seize. And you have to understand this very, very, very precise thing. When it come to to new police officer, we never had one. You can say, yeah, but we had Ludwig. Ludwig, Luddy didn't care about Dexter. He was an employee. Luddy was a boss. Who else do we have that joined the team? Nobody, except for Jill. And Jill is in a position where he has to make friend friend with his coworker, and he's trying. Like that and Angel, we're having a conflict of interest, so we're getting Angel and Agatha that have different vision on the course, and um, it's kind of cool because you get a clashing of two of the. You know what? I'll be I'll be completely open minded. I'll make an effort. Them being together in episode number two is actually phenomenal because you had a precincts. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But uh. Got a precincts of whom? Uh, Matsuka, Dexter, Deb, Jill. Got Angel and Lagetta. There are six. And there's two bosses. And the fact that there's two bosses leads to... Oh, we should the boss here. And you saw in last season when the problem we had was... Angel was getting power. And the more Angel was getting power, the less Lagetta did. And now, last season was really good because with Lagarta, she was trying to get close to the wolf. And wolf was, a, I think she was a procurer or something like that. She was hydrated. So Lagarta was continuing her, her rise above in the, uh, the, the, the business. But now, she's back to being a normal cop. Um, so, yeah, so the fact that they, they don't agree on things is kind of cool. We have this. We have um, Deb who is going back to Ludi. And I gotta say, I'm impressed with Deb. When I said that it's so this boring, because exactly that. So Deb, let it come back, and she's just like, no, you left. You cannot come back and just say hello. And you feel good about that, because she's finally standing up for herself. And then questioning people. Why I said it was boring is because it's a, the same guy. The same guy. We learn more about Ludi. We, we, we learn more about the Trinity Killer, which is named the Killer, who has been killing for 20 years. We learn more about him. And the season to be about him. The season one was about the Aisha killer. The season two was about Leela. Season three was about um It was a mix between Miguel and the tree climber, the tree the the skinner. And now the Trinity Killer. So this is about it. Ludig is there for that. Dexter is looking for a body, doesn't remember where he saw the body. Um that's pretty much it. Dex is sticking uh, as saying, "Oh, you lied to us," and once again, Rita is mad at Dex. When I say I'm mad at, I'm, I don't like Rita. You're building an independent woman, which is great, but you build her in a way that even if something doesn't, she doesn't like something, she won't act on it. So, what is the purpose of making character growth that growth serves no purpose? For example, I'm gonna give you one of the best examples I can with Dexter. Debra, Debra, they gave her a shield, they gave her a shield, if it doesn't do shit, if it doesn't change who she is, why give her a shield? That's my problem with Dexter. Anywho, I love you guys.
to Twitter. You have a nice evening, morning, afternoon. Peace.